Hello once again, everybody. We are again at Central State University, and I guess congratulations are in order for Dr. Gupta here. Uh, you just had your grant request approved. Now that goes with nutrition, and so I need to ask you what your title is here at Central State. I am Research Associate Professor in Food, Nutrition, and Health, and for Agricultural Research Development Program for Central State and I'm also State Extension Specialist for Family and Consumer Science. Oh, wow, that makes me tired just <laughs> listening to all of that. Uh, now, the, the grant that you had approved, uh, it's in nutrition, but tell us exactly what it's all involved with the grant. Recently, we got approved USDA NIFA grant. It is based on nutrition. It's basically prevention of obesity among the population in the inner society and applying the role of nutrigenomics. Nutrigenomics means that how the gene and food interacts with each other. So up until now, we used to have the nutritional dietitians dictate us that you know, what to eat, what not to. But based on your genomic profile, nutritional genomic profile, you can design your food based on your type. So that is a unique art of uh, having, a, it's called precision nutrition or called as a personalized nutrition. Well, that's very interesting and very good because everybody is different. Certainly, absolutely. See, if you see, all of us look different. So our genetic pattern is based on what you have been born and born abroad of with. Because when you're eating whatever you're eating, your genes is there specifically. So when we grow up, never it happens that sometimes some of the genes are basically like uh, down-regulated or up-regulated based on our food style and habits. So with these special techniques of nutrigenomics testing or genomic profile, you exactly know what your genes look like, what type you look like, and what you need to add, what you need to delete. For example, let's say, for example, people have always said that, you know, I love chocolates, right? People do say that, right? So it is a quite possibility that person has a magnesium deficiency. And if you cover up magnesium deficiency by eating a lot of green peas or green vegetables, you may not have to crave for chocolates and your weight automatically decreases, right? So ideally, for example, if there is a specific genes for uh, eating in between meals, so we will know exactly that gene is very high in that person. So we can educate the person that, you know, stop eating meals in between meals. So that way you protect your health and conditions. And we also have an instrument in our lab which is detects that, you know, what, are, what is the quantity of sugar you have in that particular food that you're eating so you can prevent diabetes. So before you plan to eat something, you better have a chance to evaluate first. So our lab is uh, called Nutrigenomics Lab at Central State, and it has a uh, grand opening today as well. And uh, you're more than welcome to come and look around. And we have a body composition lab as well, where we can assess our whole entire body composition um, by elect bioelectrical impedance. And that is instrument is very, very intrigued and gives you complete body composition profile. So, so you have a body composition profile and genomic profile, and based on that, we design the personalized nutrition. So that way, you are designing for yourself. And then again, we have a lab where we have a, um, activities for physical fitness. Then we also have a cooking demonstration as well. So what to eat, what, what to eat and why. And also, we are using the model called food as medicine where we need to know herbs and spices, what do they do for your health benefits, and how do we implement in your daily diets, and how to cook food, and we also are planning to do the cooking demonstrations for people to come and see the cooking workshops. And people thought that just because I look this way, I will never be able to change. It's all because of your genes, and you can teach your genes to behave differently. Certainly, actually, see, we are born with certain genes, there is no doubt about it, but some of the genes are masked, or some of the genes are down-regulated, some genes are up-regulated, so somehow if you modify that based on the lifestyle modification, chances are they may show some results. I'm not saying anything, everything will change drastically, but there is a process of utilizing that. For example, if your family is being diabetic or some, somebody in your family has a cardiovascular disease, you do have a chances of getting that as long as you don't do the same thing what they have done. So if you change your lifestyle, chances are 
you might may modify what you have been doing for. So your may results may be different, right? So for example, in my family, people have diabetic conditions, right? But I don't. So which means that it is not inheritance of genes, it's basically what lifestyle you have been carrying for so long, that may be a reason. So um, it's overall picture of getting your lifestyle modified and uh, based on your nutritional genomic patterns and again, following the pattern and following the step by step that you need to do. So. And by the way, the lab, will, lab studies will be starting in next month. So uh, if you're hearing me, you always can contact, you can be a part of the study and uh, you can be a part of the study, which is free and uh, you can get a lot, lot more good results. That's fantastic. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you very much.